join you fulfill God's will for your life. telling you we have to show God that we care for the people that he has given to us today something that is so incredibly powerful and changed our world we must not lose this opportunity to reach out to everyone for the coming of Jesus Christ this is your lover Hallelujah. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Kweko Ohenejan Ministries address to the church. And we are so excited to be having you here for this wonderful time and this season. And it's a blessing to be here once again. We bring good news to your homes and to your tiding. Hallelujah. And we are very, very excited at this moment in time that we can share this opportunity with you in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. At this moment in time, before we begin anything, we are going to be taking quickly the anthem, Your Kingdom is Forever. lovely you are, how majestic you are, your beauty is beyond description, more than words could ever tell, unfathomable, indescribable, you're the king of kings and servants, you spoke your word and it came to be. Nothing can change your word right from the world's word created. Undeniable, indestructible, you're the Lord of Lords and Servants. Your kingdom is forever. Your dominion is forever. Your wisdom is forever. Your word is a and amen forevermore. Your kingdom is forever. Your dominion is forever. Your wisdom is forever. Forevermore, your kingdom is how majestic you are, your beauty is beyond description. Words could ever tell, unfathomable, indescribable, you're the king of kings. 
I'm serving. You spoke your word, and you came to be. Nothing can change your world. Worlds were created. Undeniable, indestructible. You're the Lord of Lords, I'm serving. Your kingdom is forever. Your dominion is forever. Your wisdom is forever. Your word is a and amen forevermore. Your kingdom is forever. Your dominion is forever. Your wisdom is forever. Your word is a and amen forevermore. Your kingdom is forever. Your dominion is forever. Forevermore Your kingdom, your kingdom is forever Your dominion is forever Your wisdom is forever Your wisdom is forever. Your word is a and amen forevermore. Your word, your word is a and amen forevermore. The me is forever.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord and good afternoon. You are welcome officially to the Kweko Hinijan address to the church. And this is update number two. Hallelujah. And I'm very excited to be giving you this update at this moment in time, in this glorious day, because it is a blessing and it's a presentation of great news. Hallelujah. You may be seated wherever you are as we listen to the following announcements. And I believe that we will be blessed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to look at a few things for today's address. And um, I believe that we'll be blessed as we listen to these few things that I have to share with you in this short time before our evening session of the prayer and fasting begins. Hallelujah. All right. So we'll start off with, first of all, the anthem. For over a year now, the Love Arena Church has seeked to bring an anthem for all churches in the Love Arena Church denomination, into bracket the LACD, to use and acknowledge as the theme song to the church. We have selected one of our favorite Love World music songs as our anthem in the church, which is Your Kingdom is Forever. Henceforth, from this day on Friday, the 18th of August, 2023, all Love Arena churches associated with the Love Arena Church denomination or the Kweko Ohinijan and the Kweko Ohinijan ministry should have this song as an anthem. The instrumental, lyrics, and the song itself will be uploaded on our website very shortly after the address to the church. Number two, we are going to move on to the second segment of this address, which is number two, new people. Now, day by day, the Love Arena Church grows to become a young and a vibrant church. Therefore, there are new rules as to treat new people who approach or come into the Love Arena Church. Hallelujah. We have a few rules, and I believe that we need to take them very seriously. Number one, we have to be nice and welcoming. And with the explanation of this point, that is number one, we have to approach new members when we are able to spot a new person or so in church, in the group or wherever, and we advise that you should not let them feel lonely. Make sure that all people are welcome and don't um, separate yourself from them. Rather, get closer to them, to get to know them, and actually make friends with them. Hallelujah. And I believe that as we do that, we shall be blessed and changed for a lifetime. Number two, we are to introduce and explain what the church, its leaders, and services are about, and what they are led by. As a Love Arena Church member, it is very important that you need to know the basis or the foundation of the church which is Jesus Christ the Son of the Living God the Holy Spirit and evangelism hallelujah so now that you know you have to approach or introduce new people that you know as leaders or as members to new people or members who are freshly joining the Love Arena Church let them know what really made you join this church let them know what really made you interested in this church and i believe that as you join you are going to be blessed changed and transformed for a lifetime in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god we move to the third segment of this address which is changes in leadership as an lac leader as part of this great return there will be changes to leadership or leaders' responsibilities, behavior, and approach in the church. The first one is titled, Take Up Your Cross, which is, in brackets, taking responsibility. When this action or mode of a break occurs, leaders are required to come forth as one body to keep the body of Christ active. 
we should also develop the ability of taking blames or being a shield for the members in the church hallelujah so um with this particular point we have been on a break from april to august of 2023 that is today which concludes our break which resumes our ministry year 2023 the year of extravagant change hallelujah so as we have gone on a break like this leaders are meant to have one thing in mind or to note one thing down that um in this time and in this season when a break like this happens again for such a long period of time maximum is five months we should all be able to take responsibility as leaders to keep the church running and active that god may be proud of us in everything we do and in everything we say number two we are to master the art of submission and loyalty leaders should show a sign of submission to the pastors and the church members and also be able to define loyalty in the house of god your attitude in the church or the house of god from this ministry year or this august 2023 of the ministry year 2023 the year of extravagant change should be able to define loyalty amen and to know more on this all leaders should endeavor to listen to messages concerning faith loyalty resurrection and submission from the Kweko or Henejan audio or video library to enlighten yourselves on ways as to how you can improve your behavior, mood, and attitude towards the ministry. Number three, in times of peace, be ready for, for war. Hallelujah. In times of peace, be ready for war. Now, this point has an explanation and it's as follows. Always be prepared. As a soldier is always prepared to fight for his country, so must you be. Be prepared for anything, anywhere, and at any time. And I want to add one more thing on uh, to that. And we have to note this down. And we uh, this for all the leaders and to everyone who is a part of the Love Arena Church. Never develop the mindset of, we can't do it, or I cannot do it, or maybe there is a possibility or others that you may think the word says it's possible according to hebrews chapter 11 and the verse number one which reads that um faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen so therefore faith is what forms our lives and it's what forms what we have today as christians so i want you to make sure or to know that you can do it when we say we are having an event and you are meant to reach out to at least a hundred people don't say i cannot do it and where, I'm, where am i supposed to find such people you can because jesus did it and he did it successfully and therefore you should be able to do it too as a christian hallelujah so let's move on to point four ministry events which is the changes towards the services Henceforth, from this day, Friday the 20, sorry, the 18th of August, all major services have been resumed, mainly the effectual fervent prayer and praise service, the midweek service, the love arena experience, and the prophetic encounter service. Kindly note that henceforth, the love arena experience will be given to the love arena church's headquarters pastors left in charge when the head pastor is not available. However, when the head pastor is available or at present at the time, it will be termed or known as the prophetic encounter service. Number four, global communion service, global communion service and praise night. Praise night with the inclusion of the exclusive praise night in honor of our highly esteemed Lady Pastor Elsie Vanessa Edupepra. The Super Wednesday Live Midweek Service, Your Love Arena Ministry Events, Conferences and Camps, Rapper Fest, the Alos Church and Alos Prayer Meeting, and the Healing Jesus Nations events, and all other events associated with the Love Arena have been received. Glory to God. Later on in the year, the following events are going to take place. The Daughters of Eve Camp 2023. The Sons of Adam Camp 2023. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet conference 2023. Does he know what he has found conference 2023? 
The joy of the Lord is my strength conference 2023. Count it all joy conference 2023. The international strategic management and leadership conference of 2023 in December. And the annual Thanksgiving service. And number nine, the Rapper Fest. The language commemorative edition of the Rapper Fest will be coming on later in the year. Our yearly conference, which was Let the Blood Speak Conference 2022, will also be coming up soon on the 25th to the 28th to the 31st of August 2023, which is titled as the Not by Might Nor by Power Conference. Number five, rules and regulations. And that will be my last point at this moment in time till we meet for the next address to the church. A few complaints or on church hour arrangements, that is the first point, have come from the church, the leaders and the members concerning the time duration of our services, inclusive of the praise night, the Super Wednesday live midweek service, the Love Arena experience or the prophetic encounter service, and many other one-time services such as the praise experience. Concerning this, we want you to be conscious that there will be an extension of hours to most of our resumed church services and the new ones incoming in the ministry. First of all, we should take notice of the fact that the issue, this issue, is a wrong issue to start on or with. First and foremost, should you be an online viewer or a leader in the Love Arena Church or the Kweko or Hinojan Ministries, you are meant to be in the premises of the church or a center near you, not online, starting to complain or making suggestions about lowering time frames for services. You should be contributing to making these things possible. Start a center and get more interested in the things of God and stop rushing out of the church so quickly. What is more greater than God? Hallelujah. Hence, for this case is adjourned and it has been cancelled. Should you find the hours long, you always have the freedom to walk out of the service. And I would like you to take this opportunity to use this um, point to ask Sabbatarians. If you know a Sabbatarian or someone of that sort, ask them how much time they spend in church and you realize that that is not what we do or that is not half of what we do in church so can you take note of these things there will be an extension of service hours to our church and i believe that as we are extending hours we'll be extending our blessings and it will be coming to us in a wonderful and a great way in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god so from today all services have resumed and i am back in ministry and once again i repeat all services have been resumed and i Rico Hinejan, i'm back in ministry glory to god at this moment in time that concludes our Rico Hinejan ministries address to the church we will see you again real soon go ahead spread the news and make a joyful noise at home and i will see you in our ministry event upcoming in the next few days and the coming months in the year of 2023 the year of extravagance god bless you i love you all and see you soon